Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's video we're talking about villains in YA and my favourite villains and I'm really looking forward to this video because there's lots of villain-esque things coming out at the moment, if that be retellings or actual anthologies based around villains. So I thought, well, let's just talk about it. This video is inspired by Rise of the Sea Witch by Stacey Roke, which is a Ursula retelling or reimagining an origin story for that evil sea witch which we all know and love, Ursula. It is actually out today, so definitely go and check out the Goodreads page and Amazon link down below if you like the sound of it. This is about Ursula before she was Ursula and the events that take place under the sea to get her to where she is and where we all know her to be. You, what I love about this story is you feel really sorry for Ursula and you almost are on her side by the end of the story. I also love how Stacey incorporated the elements of the Little Mermaid story, which we love, like the two eels that follow her around, and also the song she sings in the Little Mermaid movie where she mentions about giving potions for people to find love or make them skinnier. She mentions that during dialogue in this story. So I really enjoyed Rise of the Sea Witch thoroughly to the point where it did put me in a reading slump this month and it's one of my favourite reimagining so I recommend you all go and check this out if you like that Little Mermaid retelling vibe but a bit more of origin story for Ursula but it's still set under the sea and you find out how she becomes, she turns from a mermaid into the tentacled sea witch we all know her to be. So go and check this out today and happy release day Stacey. Such a good book. Oh my god. Another villain I want to be talking about is Raj Terek in this novel here, The Hundredth Queen by Emily R. King, which is a light fantasy read and I read this one this past week and I did really enjoy it. It has got that all-knowing romance which starts off early on but if you're looking for a book that is very romance orientated which has a really interesting magic system then check this out. Now Raj Tarek is a, he's like a king, he's like a king in this world and he has a hundred wives and he goes and picks up this, his hundredth wife which is the kindred, his most special wife and he takes her into the, the turquoise palace and things go crazy. Not only does she find out she is able to control fire, but she also finds out the actual dark underlying situations that are happening in the palace and I found him really threatening and a really subtle character who didn't openly threat you, threaten you or hurt you, but he was just creepy. He made my skin crawl when I read his scene, so that is definitely villain which is on my list at the moment, so check this out. Ugh. Of course, I've got to mention the Because You Love To Hate Me anthology, which is coming out July 11th, that I am involved with. This is the American edition, and this is the UK edition. They are both absolutely glorious. And the whole point of this was, I think it was 13 authors partnered up with 13 booktubers, and we gave them as booktubers prompts to write a short story about a villain. Now, just a little insight into mine, my villain of choice was, of course, Medusa. So I said my prompt to be Medusa Go. Now, in this, I worked with Cindy Pon, who is an incredible author, advocate for diversity, and just all-around incredible writer, and I was so thankfully partnered up with her to write her story, which is called Beautiful Venom, which you'll be able to read in here. And also, if you get it, you will also be able to read a little old, little old extract from me at the back, a little essay questions. Now, it's this so exciting. This is the first time I've been published in a novel, so I'm very excited about this. And of course, because it's all villain based, I of course wanted to mention it in this video because this video is all about villains. So definitely go and check this out the Goodreads page and don't forget if you do pre-order there is an pre-order incentive that Bloomsbury is running. I will leave all the necessary information down below. In here, yes, our story is based around mythology and Medusa, the Medusa Greek ancient mythology. Now of course we have blended Chinese culture with this Greek mythology and Cindy Pond has created the most beautiful story about Mei Du, which is a character in this story. So go and check this out. I just can't wait for you to read it. Wow. Next, I want to give a mention to The Evaporation of Sophie Snow by Mary Webber. This is a recent sci-fi that's just come out by Sophie Web uh, Mary Webber, who is a great, great author. Now, I cannot tell you who my favourite villain is, because it would spoil the twists and turns. 
But just know, in this story, you are going to be taken on a ride like no other. This this story blends technology with alien invasion and gaming, and it's about a girl wanting to save her brother after he's abducted during an attack on a gaming event they have. It's very like VR gaming, and they, they get attacked and he gets kidnapped, and it's all about her trying to, trying to save him after this invasion. Now, there is lots of twists and turns, and again, you do start pin pinpointing the blame to certain people, but you've just got to read this book to find out who is the villain. But if you like that kind of high-tech gaming meets alien invasion story, then check out Sophie Snow. Okay. She's going to evaporate. I want to mention a character from Trapped in Silver by Emily Soden, which is a high fantasy story about berserkers and demons going against each other in this fantastical world. Demons are almost like fae. They're best described to be fae. They have powers and they are fae. They're shifters as well, but also there are the berserkers, which are fae demons polluted with dark power. And the dark power comes from a character called Stefan. And Stefan is this horrible character who's turned out to be one of the fan favourites. So I wanted to give a mention to this. He is, he is conceited, he is manipulative, he is powerful, all the things which a villain is known for, but he is also relatable, and there's a story behind why, and I cannot wait to find out what happens in book two. So yes, Trapped in Silver by Emily Seldon, a great fantasy read for fans of, like, Sarah J Mass. so check it out. And that one leads me perfectly onto the last one, which is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Mass. This, of course, I have to talk about a character in here. Now, okay, I'm gonna not call it, we're gonna, we're gonna pretend he's the villain, okay, because he's not the villain, he's the OG love of the series, and that's, I just don't think I'm ready to say his name. Tamlin. Now, Tamlin, of course, isn't the villain of the story, but he is portrayed to be a negative character, and goes from being the main love interest to somebody who us readers and fans don't like very much, but I wanted to mention him because I do always have a deep-seated love for him, especially after the end of this book. I found his character really tormented. I found his character, he only wanted to do the right thing by Feyre, but obviously always messed up whilst trying to do that, so I wanted to give him a mention. I do love Tamlin, of course, but Rise and for life, always. So yeah, definitely check out this series if you haven't already. You're going to meet so many villains, but of course I wanted to mention the less villainy person in here, but still didn't want to kind of leave Tamlin out because Tamlin is Bay. Well, original Bay. Rise and Bay. Ah, oh, just share them both. So there you have it. There are all the villain novels and the villains I want to mention in this video. Don't forget to go check out Rise of the Sea Witch by Stacey Roke, which releases today. And don't forget to check out all the other books on Goodreads link down below. I can't wait to find out who your favourite villain is. Is it Voldemort? Is it Snape before he was a villain? Does that make sense? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And apart from that, I'll see you all again very, 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 very soon tomorrow for another video. Bye-bye!